Welcome back. This will be the, the second block of our MOOC on managing urban infrastructures. In it, we will talk about the foundations of managing these infrastructures. Now, this second block has six different sessions. In the first session, we will talk about what exactly the managers do uh, when managing urban infrastructures. Then we will talk about the stakeholders that are related to the performance of these infrastructures and what do the managers do with the stakeholders. Thirdly, thirdly we will come back to the different dimensions of managing urban infrastructure systems, the ones we have already talked about in the first block. Then we will talk about the different schools of thought in managing urban infrastructure systems. Following that, we will have an interview with an expert on public-private partnerships, which are one of the main new forms of managing urban infrastructures. And finally, we will say a few words about the role of the information and communication technologies in the management of urban infrastructure systems, which, as you know, are growing more and more important. Now, let's first move to the first session. What do urban infrastructure managers exactly do? Uh, what, are, what are their main activities? And they, these are three, three big tasks. They have to plan, they have to operate, and they have to maintain these infrastructures. These are technical tasks, and basically in this first session, we'll talk about them. So the first big activity of infrastructure managers is to plan. And planning comes in two forms uh, because those have two different time horizons. Planning for the infrastructure itself and planning for the services that are provided on the infrastructures. For the infrastructure itself, uh, let's take the example of the transportation network, the, the, the metro network, the energy network, that, uh, that you are going to put into the city or the water network. Uh, you have to plan, a water network is there for 80 years. You have to plan, where do you put the wastewater treatment plant? Which streets are you digging up? Which tunnels are you digging? Uh, but even for green infrastructures, you have to plan. Uh, where do we build the trees? It's gonna take 20 years for them to grow. Uh, where do you put the parks? This requires careful long-term planning. The second dimension of planning is actually the services, pertains to the services. So you have transport vehicles that are running on the infrastructure. Now you have to plan for the acquisition of these vehicles, but the time horizon is different. You know, they may have a lifespan of 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, and then you're going to sell them to somebody else. It's, it's an other time horizon for planning, yet it requires planning. When are your vehicles obsolete? When are you going to buy a new one? Similarly for IT systems, which you are going to use for billing the customers in water, in gas, uh, in electricity, for example. We know that IC, IT systems have a relatively short time span, Still, you have to, uh, to plan which ones to buy, when to buy them, when to replace them, all these kind of things. And of course, you have to coordinate between the two, uh, precisely because the lifespan is different between the infrastructure and the infrastructure services. So when are you, how are the new wagons that you are going to buy uh, uh, how are you making them compatible with the infrastructure? You have to plan that. Do you need to adapt them to the, to the old infrastructure? Or do you up, need to upgrade the rail infrastructure so they will be compatible with the new locomotives that come on track? These are the kind of coordination problems that, that infrastructure managers face in terms of planning. The second big task uh, of urban infrastructure managers is operations. I mean, this is maybe the first thing that people see is the transport system working. Are the buses operated well? Uh, are they clean? Are they, uh, are they on time? 
Uh, is, are things coordinated? Do you make your connections? Things like that. Everyday operations of transport, energy, uh, water, uh, wastewater, things like that. This is, I would say, one of the major tasks. And, and often you have a series of crises in there. So, so managers are quite absorbed by short-term operational questions because that's where things go wrong. Now, again, you have also operations on the services. You have to operate the vehicles, not just the infrastructures, but also the vehicles that are there. Uh, and you have to operate the metering and the billing uh, of, of water services or of energy services, electricity and gas services. Another big task of infrastructure managers and, of course, things have to be coordinated again between these two. So, for example, if something goes wrong on the track, in the track, maybe there is a breakdown of a signal uh, that has effects on the operations of the train. Or if the locomotive breaks down, then you cannot optimally use the infrastructure that, that, uh, that is available. So, again, also in operations, there are big coordination challenges for managers of urban infrastructure systems. And the third big challenge is the maintenance. Again, we distinguish between the infrastructure and the infrastructure services. Both have to be maintained. The infrastructure has to be maintained. The tracks have to be repaired regularly. Usually that happens in the night uh, when there is no transport running. The electricity lines, if they get disconnected, have to be repaired. The water pipes have to be repaired. The green infrastructures have to be maintained. Uh, you all know that trees will not survive in cities if they are not watered regularly, uh, if they're not trimmed and things like that. This is all maintenance of urban infrastructure systems. And of course, you also have to maintain the vehicles. You have to maintain the metering systems, the IT systems, all these kind of things. And again, the maintenance needs to be coordinated among each other. So, for example, you maintain the urban transport, the train infrastructure during the times that the trains are not running. Uh, so this needs to be properly coordinated uh, and you, you, you maintain the locomotives not during the day, daytime uh, when, when you need them, but you maintain them during the night when there is less, there are less transport services. Now, <clears throat> we have seen here in this session the three main activities of urban infrastructure managers. Now, from here, we will go to the stakeholders because all this involves stakeholders, uh, users, uh, citizens, uh, authorities, and urban infrastructure managers do not just have to manage the infrastructures, they also have to manage the stakeholders that are involved in all these infrastructures.